Hello everybody, we are back. This is free and we're getting ready to start episode 10 by off the elite and we shall continue the story. My advisors have arranged a series of meetings with the rebellious lords of the kingdom. It's only logical that during the power takeover, some decisions are made in the shadows rather than on a battlefield. It seems I have to devolve into the art of intrigue. That should be no problem. Let us get ready to begin. My lord, the scouts are ready to organize several meetings with the timid nobles of the king. They will arrive at the manor very soon. The banshee terrorizes a caravan of traders approaching the manor. Now it lies overturned. Seize their goods. At least get some money. With the new spill, an unexpected effect was discovered. Soon have vanished with the estate. Okay, we need to turn them immediately. I see that my vows have been gone. The enemy kingdom wishes to sell us a rare ingredient. Accept the offer. Greetings, young lord. Our seers have foretold that the order kingdom will soon fall. I am willing to part with my lands for a modest gold reward. Allocate some gold. Lord Boredom can spice up his life under your dark rule. Shall I send for the next one? Not an agreement. The general does not allow me to test my potions on his warriors. Convince him. I will talk to him. Uh, okay, I, I probably don't want to talk to him anymore. Witches want to learn necromancy to revive cats. Ah, uh, charge him for the lessons. They want to learn, charge him. Ah, uh, it's the kitty. Kitty, 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 kitty. Uh, a smug corner with a warm blanket has been crafted on the tree for the cat who loves napping there curled into a comical ball. Uh, let's stabilize might. What do I allow? Yeah, let me stabilize magic. Magic is getting a little bit too you know, powerful. Greetings, my lord. The king of water is losing his influence every day. Give me some time and I will convince other lords to join you. Mercifully agree. My warriors are getting poisoned by the alchemist's new potion. Do something. Uh, okay, I tell you what. No need to drink every nonsense. Uh, my mic's going down, so I'll, I'll yeah, that that's it. I knew you would go for that. Yeah, uh huh. That big jump. Okay, I managed to perform a necromantic ritual and save you from imminent defeat. But from now on, be careful, for this ritual is extremely difficult. Oh, wait a minute. So you mean it would have went against me? 
Oh, thank you. Good job. Good job. Thanks for the save. Our spy was captured by the enemy. Mm, equipped a rescue squad. I've concluded a potion making our troops invisible. Yet it is highly unstable. Uh, improve it. Are you trying to persuade good lords to betray their king? Who are you? I'm a paladin. I have sworn to defend faith, the lands, and the king. For your crimes, you must die. Uh, cast a spell to expel him. Use a spell. Bye bye. The paladin fled, but there is good news. Lord Fasti reported that a coup is brewing in, in the kingdom. There is one last important decree left. What decree? What shall we do with the remaining nobles? Will they have a chance to join us? Or do we declare a death sentence for all of them? We can kill them. They can be pardoned. So be it. You mercifully left the nobles alive, giving them a chance to side with you. Yeah, I mean, the more on my side, the better. Our people are still trying to catch that slick paladin. The, stink, the stinking smell of his light. The wizard made a special emphasis on this terrible word. Magic is hard to miss. I was sure that it was the smell. That would help us track him down without difficulty. But I was wrong. Indistinct aggressive sounds came from under the hood. Silently listen on. The only thing we were able to track down was that the paladin somehow made his way into the manor. But when he is on our territory, we will definitely catch him, your darkness. Proceed. Alright, what about the barracks? Ah, uh, barracks doesn't mean look like anything's going on. What about you with the crypt? Feathers and zombies. Let's check. You enter the crypt and see the necromancer looking out the window which reveals a roll of graves. You are certain you can read sadness in his empty eye sockets. Look out the window with the necromancer. In the graveyard, you see a small crowd of zombies and skeletons. They awkwardly practice sword fighting. Newly risen. Finally, we'll have undead stronger and more enduring than their kin. The necromancer clearly puts a lot of disdain into this word.
What do you mean? Confused. I believe the stronger necromancers will, the stronger the undead under their control. I'm afraid young macromancers can't control a powerful undead army because their hearts have softened and no longer thirst for power. They only want to sue the undead. They don't understand the true essence of undeath. All necromancers under 200 years old are like this, and their undead are too. 200 years old, and you consider them young? I am older than any necromancer who has ever lived. Of course I would consider any of them young to me. Over my long life in undeath, I've studied the arc of necromancy so deeply and comprehensively that I can control forces of death that these youngsters couldn't even dream of. What forces? I want to know. You're not ready for this knowledge. Perhaps, someday. I trust your wisdom. I'll be patient. I see something else is troubling you. You can ask. If you're so ancient and powerful, is there anyone else like you? I doubt it. If you're alluding to my family, then all my ancestors and descendants were ordinary humans. Were. The necromancer looks for a moment, suddenly staring past you. They were a high-ranking noble family until one day, the King of Time betrayed them and destroyed most of them. The King of Time. I feel like I heard a similar story somehow. Ah, oh, yeah, it's the King of Time. What? Okay, what about the tavern? Okay, it's not... Oh, yes, I did pet the cat. Do I want to give you an upgrade? I think I should give you an upgrade. I like you. Yes, I gave you an upgrade. Uh, what about the banshee? Uh, i give you an upgrade. Uh, what about the merchant? My amulet? When might becomes unstable, I never use it. Magic becomes unstable. No, it usually runs out. Uh, I just have to skip all that. I don't see anything. Magic tower. Let me go ahead and upgrade you. Move you to six. How about you? You're at six. How about you? you? Look like you're okay. And what about the bank? Bank should be six. Looks like I got everything under control. Everybody's took like they're controlled. I did a lot of upgrades. And what I'm going to be doing is, let's see, anyone I can know? This 
distracts them from one conflict. I should make the kitty the advisor. Coexist with the living. Ah, uh, probably skip that. But what I'm gonna go do is wrap this up. I thank everyone for watching. Ah, uh, please like or just subscribe if you like. And everybody, please have a wonderful night.